everybody, this is Captain Kyle, and I'm here with a special toy review. The three-pack of Graffy, or Graffy, Noizu, or Noise, and Frenzy, or Rumble. And my cat loves them too, because he's right on top of them. Getting him to move without him slashing me with claws, very important. So now that I've survived that, I do want to talk about the three-pack. And the dino cassettes do come with Frenzy, or Rumble. And when I say with, it looks like two cards, it's actually one. One long card. As you can see on the back, it says includes three figures and six accessories. So you know it's one package. Now, if you're not familiar with Graffy and Noizu, those are two of the W cassettes, or dino cassettes, that were in the Headmaster series. And they answered to this guy. This is Twincast. He used to be called Blaster, but apparently once you get blown to bits and get put back together, you can't keep the same name. Megatron to Galvatron, Bumblebee to Goldbug, Soundwave to Sound Blaster, and Blaster to Twincast. Now the Dino Cassettes were called the W Cassettes because W means two in one. It's like two U's in Japan. Because not only can they become dinosaurs, but they can merge together into a robot. Similar to the pairing of Grand Slam and Rain Dance and Beast Box and Squawk Talk. Though from what I understand, they don't look nearly as good, but these were released a little bit earlier. Frenzy is supposed to be a little bit more cartoon accurate to what Rumble looked like in the cartoon. Forever Rumble. You can call him what you want. So we're gonna compare him to the reissue that came from Walmart as well. Just as a little bonus. So the packaging looks very cool, very reminiscent of early G1 US releases. These guys were originally released in boxes in Japan, but still a very cool looking Transformers piece if you're gonna keep it in package. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna remove Graffy and Noizu first. Now there were two other dino cassettes that were released at the same time, and we can hope those will be reissued as well. All four of the cassettes were Japanese exclusives, Kind of like Stepper and Artfire and Twincast and Sound Blaster. So getting the reissues is a lot cheaper than trying to get the original. Now, as you can see, they transform into cassettes. For those who don't know, cassettes were ways of recording sound on magnetic tape. Go to a museum, you might find some cassettes. Now these are Autobot cassettes. There are Dinosaur Decepticon cassettes, but those were Overkill and Slugfest which were released in the US. So let's go with Noizu first. Now cassettes are generally not difficult to transform, and these guys are no exception. It is a little clever the way it flips up to form the dinosaur. And you just attach the guns to the side. His mouth does not open, he's got the little claws in the front. He does stand relatively easily, but he's easy to knock over, as are most of the cassettes. Garaffi, also appears to be pretty easy to transform. Not very poseable. And his accessories go on the wings. Still a very neat set. And again, what you'd have to pay for originals, the ones that they've reissued are a steal. Of course, people who paid a lot for the originals, probably not too happy right now. Now there are instructions on the back to show you how to transform them from cassette into dino modes. There are no instructions on the back to show you how to merge them into one robot. Now I did have to look at a picture to kind of figure out what he's supposed to look like. Merged together, they are known as Decibel. And to be honest, his merged mode, kinda not exactly as nice as I would have expected. And it's actually kind of loose because Noizu is plugging into the head of Garafi. So I can't say that I'm impressed at all with the merge mode, it kind of sucks. I love the separate dino modes. I'm trying to figure out if there's another way to configure him that would be better, but that seems to be it. Still, for those who are completists and want to have every transformer in the universe, but you can't afford the originals, this is a very cool way to get these. Much more affordable, and like I said, the dino modes are really cool. And as Twincast is a dual cassette holder, you can put both of them right inside. As for Frenzy, this is the one out of the three pack, and this is the one that is the reissue. Looks like there might be some slight differences in the color. 
So the one that comes in the three pack, he has a red dot on his head. I don't know, I don't recall that being in the cartoon. Maybe I'm just not remembering it right. Maybe it's where a Cerebro shell took him over. But honestly, I would have preferred if they had just included Rat Bat. That would have been nice. So that's the three pack. Hope you liked this video. There's some other ones over here. Check those out. You can subscribe down there if you like stuff like this or all kinds of other fandom stuff. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, have fun and follow your fandom.